Hello YouTube, thought uh, I'd have a little run out to the Peak District and uh, try out a couple of things. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a dry run of my uh, forthcoming chip shop run which takes place on the evening of Monday the 15th of June. So if you're in and around the Derby area and you fancy a bit of a, a tootle out to Matlock Bath, um, we're leaving um, Starbucks Cafe on the roundabout at Little Eaton in Derby and we're heading off towards Ashbourne uh, before going past Carsington and then on to Matlock Bath. So uh, we're meeting at 7pm uh, with a view to leave at 7.15 so if you're interested it doesn't matter if you're not a vlogger uh, you can even be a Ron25 rider you'd be more than welcome to join us um, I'll drop the details in the description below so just uh, let me know if you're wanting to come along so that would be awesome the other thing I've uh, tried out today before I came out was um, some additional luggage for my forthcoming trip to Ireland that I'm doing between the 20th of June and the 4th of July uh, with uh, Hoggy Brin 39, Mr. Mr. Husey, 08 Ride, and Metalhead 18241. Uh, I think it is. Um, I tried my tail pack for the first time before I came out, and I have to admit, I just didn't get on with it at all. I couldn't quite get it to sit secure enough for me anyway with the panniers as well so I think I'm going to ditch the idea of taking the tail pack and maybe just use that for a weekend away somewhere so the only thing I'm going to take I think is going to be my panniers and my tank bag and if I do have to need any additional luggage space then I can always um, strap the tent or the sleeping bag to the back of the bike with some bungees so I should be okay. So I'm glad in a way I've tried it before, before the trip. Better to get these things out of the way before, before you get there. The other thing I've tried out, I've actually got myself a bit of a sat-nav. Uh, now it is a, a cheap car sat-nav. Uh, I wasn't really prepared to pay for the, uh, the sat-navs you can get for your bike. I mean they are very very expensive and from what I can see the only additional features that uh, are different between a car sat nav are that you can use it with your gloves on and they are waterproof but I thought if I put it in my tank bag it should be okay so I'm just plotting a route through the Peak District one that I've kind of uploaded from the internet straight onto the uh, sat nav to see how we got on and already I found a problem in that it wasn't happy with the uh, with the waypoints that I'd selected and it's kind of selected a bit of a more direct route so again it's a bit of useful exercise to uh, iron out any problems so I'm going to have to probably as we're travelling along travelling along in Ireland probably just pick a waypoint one way po waypoint at a time and uh, do it that way I think it'll be uh, less confused unless of course I can find a way of uh, doing that so if you've got any ideas or suggestions of how I can do that then uh, you know drop a comment below and I'll be more than happy to uh, listen to any suggestions you may have anyway guys I think that'll do for now so as always ride safe take it easy and I'll catch you next time uh,